Anya e mohon anya e gana ge se non gimitis. That is goodbye to you with me no more. Hello, welcome to our channel. In this channel, we share news about current happenings around the globe. If this is the first time you are coming across our video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell so that anytime we post a video, you are going to be notified. Anybody that feel what, if you think that what I'm doing or what I'm saying is not right, go back to your original country. Most of the countries of the world today got their independence from somewhere. So if you think that America think that what we are doing is not right, let them rewind the clock back to 1717, 1774 or so, when they separated from Britain. As simple as that. If you think what we are doing is not okay, we want you to tell your country, wherever your country is, to rewind their back, their clock back to the days when they were like slaves in whoever or whichever country that they liberated themselves from. But today, I remember that two days ago, I told you people about Singapore. I told you people about Singapore. Right? I told you about Singapore and we are going to take you to that journey. We are going to take you to the journey of the Singapore. 1970. Nigeria. A game of death, Kaibanimia. No, na lose it. What that has been in the war? The Asengola, um, walking in out, um, one, the other side. Okay, I was it. Moon fire. Papa, 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 where will you go? Machine gun, Gahube, our people. And they were slaughtered in thousands. Anyo wa guzi ndi mwike ba pone bo ndi ozu da kudo na azu o be ro ne ba o so nka na ekwifa o fo nya fo sin ba na moto aba na moto amoro no wo kwa no da so da kilin si ti ri ndi si emwe no so wa yes you may have guessed it right this ade ne ole na mu oke ka wa what are you doing here? He said, you know, from Masaba, is to join my people. He commanded me, Abiyam Banyana Chiba, one other person, John Okonya, and Banya. Banya, the car drive me from here to that place. The only machine gun. The whole people there were more down. Ndi ni na bu bu nwa anyi. Omo nwa anyi na ni fa. Obu yiwe na abo so ozu na abo so ozu maka woni na eje akwa cha. Ibo so gido ozu ke nwale. Iburu ni ya. Eh? Ina aga iru dele ko no na enu mmadu. Na 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 ponti afo ya. Ndi ha ba se no nye no si ogo Quite, 
Move first lady. And the number of them. Is it here? Attract you quite development to our Saba. So now they won the war and we won the peace. That is the sad story of Asaba massacre. How they massacred thousands of Biafrans in Asaba. And today, in 2022, when you have none what I should call the radical agitation for Biafra freedom, the new generation of Biafrans, we have come to make history. That's why we are going to wake this wound the Nigeria government and their full and evil caliphate continue to touch us where it pains. I want you people to pay attention to why we are fighting, you know, to restore Biafra. You know, two days ago, or last uh, yesterday or so, two days ago when I was responding to to the uh, Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. I mentioned many countries that splitted from other, you know, other country and they are doing well today. And in those countries, in the list of those countries, I mentioned country like Singapore. And I also mentioned that Singapore split from Malaysia in 1965. Do you want to know what Singapore is like today? Let me show you. 1965. Singapore split from Malaysia. Let us look at Singapore today. 1960. We had to lock up people without trial. 1986. Whether they are cops, whether they are language, chauvinists or religious extremists. If you don't do that, the king would be in Rose today. Whoever governs Singapore must have that iron in him or give it up. This is not a game of cards. This is your life and mine. I've spent a whole lifetime building this. And as long as I'm in charge, nobody's going to knock it down. This is it. Your life and my life. And as long as I'm alive, nobody is going to knock it down. From 1965. Here is Singapore. Where men rose up to fight for the good and the betterment and the future of their country. But we wouldn't be here, we would not have made the economic progress if we had not intervened on very personal matters who your neighbor is, how you live, the noise you make, how you speak, or where you speak, or what language you use. Had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. If they have not done that and done it effectively, Singapore will not be where they are today. How you live, the noise you make, how you speak, or where you speak, or what language you use. 
Had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. Did you hear that? How you speak, how you do, what language you use is coming from a Singapore prime minister, those who fought and they have vision. From 1965, this is the result. Even from my sick bed, even if you are going to lower me to the grave and I feel that something is going wrong, I'll get up. And I am serious when I said on the eve of National Day, get our ablest and our best into politics. One key requirement is let's avoid hypocrisy and let's do this thing honestly and approximate the market rate. Try and get a government on the cheap, you end up with a cheap government and you'll be sorry for yourselves. First job of a government is to equalize opportunities, right? Not equalize results. You equalize results, you're done for. You end up with what Deng Xiaoping calls the iron rice bowl. Nobody works, everybody does his minimum, very little rice in the bowl. What made the difference in Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, when we were in Malaya, we decided that we are going only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. Did you hear that? Group of men, group of men, he did not say millions of men. He said group of men gathered between 1963 and 1964. They, reside, they were residing in Malaysia. They gathered. They said if they are going to live, they will live one life. And they are going to die, they will die once. But it is better for them to die for a good cause. They started to fight for this freedom of Singapore. Did you hear the story? Today, the Afra people, we are doing the same thing. Group of us have gathered after the abduction and kidnapping of Mazin Namdikano, and we have named ourselves autopilot. The story will be the same. Go and mark it. The story will be the same. You will tell the story how we fought Nigeria and, of course, resist the world to get our freedom. We are going to apply every mechanism possible. I have, we have said it. We have announced possible guerrilla warfare. Once we succeed in stopping Nigeria from conducting election, we are going there. In Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, we were in Malaysia that we are going to live only one life. Different in Singapore was in 1963-64, group of men from Singapore living in Malaysia rose up and decided that they are going to live only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. And that make Singapore possible. Listen to this. For anybody who changes his principles depending on whom he is dealing, that is not a man who can lead a nation. Did you hear that? Anybody who changes his principle according to who he is dealing with is not a man who can lead a nation. So all this bunch of fools who tells you, oh, let us wait from, from uh, Peter Obi. When he fail, we will not come back to Biafra. You are not people who can make decisions. You are a very big fools. Those who say, oh, let us go to Nigeria. When we changing your principle according to who you do with it. We don't do that. We are learning from the best. And I have now brought two best in the world, at least in freedom fighting. I brought the former prime minister of Singapore, 
you have heard from Mandela. That is the principle, that is the full step we are taking in autopilot. Consistency. Consistency is the key. Avoid hypocrisy and let's do this thing honestly, approximate the market rate. Try and get the government on the cheap, you end up with a cheap government and you'll be sorry for yourselves. First job of a government is to equalize opportunities, right? Not equalize results. You equalize results, you are done for. You end up with what Deng Xiaoping calls the iron rice bowl. Nobody works, everybody does his minimum, very little rice in the bowl. What made the difference in Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, when we were in Malaysia, we decided that we are going to live only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. We couldn't be placated and settle for less. To settle personally for a way out for yourself was easy. You vote in jokers, cranks, weak men, charlatans with some gift of the gap. You run a very serious risk of losing everything you have. Your future really depends on what you make of it. The government can give you that framework can give expression to the will of a people, but the people must have their will. If you don't have it, there's nothing a government can do. Did you hear that? The people must have their will. If you don't have your will, there is nothing the government can do. And today, we are going to show Nigeria that we have our will. And this our will and our future is in our hand. I'm going to play this again for you to know how Singapore become what it is today from 1965. Nigeria had independence in 1960. Go to Nigeria today. All you see is pig farm. Pigri. Pig farm in the street. Pig farm in the market. Pig farm. In, there is no shopping mall. Everywhere is like pig in Nigeria. There is no development. No nothing. You retrogress. You go backward. The retrogression. There is nothing to talk about Nigeria. And after 60 something, 62 years, P2B is coming to lament about how they are marginalizing in Debo. So I'm going to replay this uh, particular video and uninterrupted. whether they are language, chauvinists, or religious extremists. If you don't do that, the country would be in ruins today. Whoever governs Singapore must have that iron in him or give it up. This is not a game of cards. This is your life and mine. I've spent a whole lifetime building this. And as long as I'm in charge, nobody's going to knock it down. But we wouldn't be here, we would not have made the economic progress if we had not intervened on very personal matters. Who your neighbor is, how you live, the noise you make, how you speak or where you speak, or what language you use. Had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. And even my sick bed, even if you are going to lower me to the grave and I feel that something is going wrong, I'll get up. And I am dead serious when I said on the eve of National Day, get our ablest and our best into politics. One 
key requirement is let's avoid hypocrisy and let's do this thing honestly, approximate the market rate. Try and get the government on the cheap, you end up with a cheap government and you'll be sorry for yourselves. First job of a government is to equalize opportunities, right? Not equalize results. You equalize results, you're done for. You end up with what Deng Xiaoping calls the iron rice bowl. Nobody works, everybody does his minimum, very little rice in the bowl. What made the difference in Singapore was that a group of men in 1963, 64, 65, when we were in Malaysia, we decided that we are going to live only one life. If we have to die, we will die for a cause. That made Singapore possible. We couldn't be placated and settle for less. To settle personally for a way out for yourself was easy. You vote in jokers, cranks, weak men, charlatans, with some gift of the gap. You run a very serious risk of losing everything you have. Your future really depends on what you make of it. The government can give you that framework, can give expression to the will of a people, but the people must have their will. If you don't have it, there's nothing a government can do. You have just watched that. We are learning from the best. We don't just come and talk and talk and talk. We are learning from the best and those who have gone through this line before and we are winning and we will continue to win thank you so much for watching if you like what you see in this channel please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video you will get notified